The Aquaphor D Hemp Project is a very important study located in Fresno, California. At the beginning stages, you could see that the plants were germinating and establishing quickly. And the chlorophyll production in these small uh, tap-rooted seedlings were a lot faster than the non-treated. And when we uprooted the plugs, you could see that the roots had better quality and more feeder roots in the treated than the non-treated. And this is really important because they were looking for the grab, the actual grab of the soil that were in the plugs. So when they went to go transplant, there was less damage to the plant during this transitional phase. With our root mass having more feeder roots, the nutrient uptake is exponential. We're taking more of the fertilizer that is applied into the actual root and then into the tree instead of it being leached down through the soil and past the root zone. All right, and this is a sap flow that needs to be. To grow, let us be able to see the sap flow, the xylem timing. When did it start waking up? When did it go to sleep? With our treated, we woke up earlier when the heat came on in the greenhouse. Aqua 4 d treated cannabis plants kept on working, went to sleep later. So we're working longer than non-treated. The water efficiency was very evident with us keeping the rhizophyre moist longer than the non-treated. We're seeing that we're able to absorb more water into the growing medium and it stays there and also enables less evaporation. So Aqua 4D and cannabis production is going to be a great relationship together.